for the average player out there, the people that uh, aren't aware of how easy it is uh, to tune and to keep it tuned, why don't you uh, kind of explain that system a little bit for them? Yes, actually, this trans trem is easier to tune than a conventional tremolo because it has a locking system. Here now, the tremolo is locked. If I move the arm, uh, I can't really move the arm, and the tremolo is fixed, and it can be tuned as easily as a fixed bridge. It doesn't have the, the problems of one string affecting the tune of another string, such as you have with a conventional tremolo mechanism. But if you're in the middle of a concert or a gig or something, and the string breaks, then what happens? Is it Well, this locking mechanism really helps out in that case, too. Now, if I take and break a string, for example, let's say we're, we're playing along, and... Uh, uh, a string breaks. Okay, there we are. Now the tremolo goes sharp, it's completely out of tune, like every other tremolo in the market, a floating tremolo, but in this case we are able to instantly take this and lock it in. Now we're in tune, and if I get this string out of the way here, I can uh, play chords, I can, I can so be you, part of the band still, because so you automatically by locking go right it back right back into tune. I see. Um, so putting back the string and, and getting retuned up is, is, is another very simple function. Putting on the string is a breeze. It's as easy as uh, really one, two, three. Here, first of all, we take a string, put it into the headpiece. It's that easy. Mm -hmm. uh, we take it down here. We open up the jaw a little bit so that we can get the string in there. Right. Just takes a second. And you notice there's, there's no cutting, no winding, no bending, no tools. And... Uh, here we are. You don't have to sit there with a crank and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, just take this D string and uh, bring it right into tune. Let's see where we stand now. A little bit sharp, but I usually like to give it a little tug just to set it. And uh, we're now ready to play. I could go right back on stage now. My guitar is in tune. Tremolo is functional, ready to roll. Okay, Ned, uh, you replaced your broken string. Uh, and everything is in tune. Now, what happens to the trans trem system? Do you have to make adjustments on that, or does it stay is, does it stay true? Well, just replacing the same exact type of string should result in uh, the tremolo staying in tune just as it was. But let's check it. Now we go into a one position up for the E string, uh, or the D string in this case. That would be an E note that we want, and uh, we see here on the tuner that the E is coming in very nicely. And let's check it now down two notches down which should be B flat for this string and it's looking pretty good down there too we bring it up into our E tuning and check that all together I think it's uh, really very close I'd like a chance to show how this works so let me let me actually purposely knock it out of adjustment and we'll see exactly how to adjust it he will just take this and and give it a shot knock it out so that when we go up here to our um, E tuning, we're looking at it's a little bit flat, so I will adjust it in the E tuning, the high position, one up. In that position, I always adjust it with the tuning knob. That's very important. In the high position, we adjust with the tuning knob. Now, when we go into our low position, two steps down, this should be E flat. And as we can see, uh, this should be, excuse me, B flat, and we can see here that it's running a little bit sharp and I can adjust that. In this case, if it's sharp, that means that uh, I have to turn this counterclockwise, and as I turn it, you can see the unit coming right back into tune. There you go. Now, let's double check that high position again. It's very close, but again, I would make all tuning in the high position with a knob, with a fine tuning knob. I tweak that in the high position, bring that down, it's also really very, very close. I suppose I could tweak it just a little bit if I wanted, uh, make it perfect, bring it back up. There's the high tuning. There's the low tuning, and when I bring it back into E, it's automatically bingo, right on the money. So I'm all set. It's as easy as that. It's really nothing to it once you get the hang of it. The thing to remember is in the high tuning, you use the tuning knob in the low tuning, you do your adjustment with this jaw here. Once you get the hang of it, you never forget it.